Hey guys, it's GK and in today's video I just wanted to share all the books that we'll be using for both of my girls who will be in grade 3 and senior kindergarten. First off, we're going to start off from a kindergartner. I have a few of these phonic books. So I've got two phonic books and a spelling book. So just to show you what's on the inside. Some of these books, I mean, they're already, they have been used because these are from my sister-in-law. So I'm not sure if it was my nephews that used it and then my niece and then came to me or what, but it, it's still usable. Like there's a lot of pages that have not been done. So I have this book here. So I will go through this with her after school just to get her going. And because these books are thinner, I hope that, you know, she'll be able to focus and not give me a hard time. <laughs> so I got another phonics book, and this one is by Beaver Books. And on the inside, it's very similar to the other one I just showed you. And then I've got a spelling book, again, by Beaver Books. And inside is just letter matching and um, beginning sounds and ending sounds so this should be interesting my daughter does know letter sounds and letter recognition but um, she hasn't mastered it so hopefully these workbooks will help her and this one is by uh, the homeroom canadian workbooks it's a re kindergarten reading readiness book and she already started on this so it's just um, writing the letters out and the beginning sounds um, just almost similar to the previous books so she'll be done this before school starts so I'm happy and then this book I had already shown in the previous video I'm really loving this for my kid who really could not read at all last year she has improved so much and I mean I haven't even reached halfway but it's very repetitive and it's very simple for her to follow along and she's able to read she might mix up a few words but again she's only reading I'm gonna say she only started this book whenever I posted that video so it hasn't been long and then on top of that I don't have her throughout the week so just her working I think once like during the weekend I'll just have her do this once because she's a kid and I just let her play for a bit so I have this book that I will be going through this year and most likely I'll be done by the end of the school year so I'm happy about that and then my sister purchased this book for her for her to do while she was at my mom's but that kid someone needs to sit with her and nobody there will sit and she won't listen to anything so I've got this one and it's just very simple kindergarten activities with shapes and letter tracing letter recognition and then there's numbers so we will work on this when school starts or actually when she's done the other book I showed you earlier and then I had also shown these books in my previous video or one of my earlier videos and it is the Bob books and I've got the emerging reader workbook as well as the beginner reader and quite honestly I didn't want any workbooks um, from Costco because that's where my sister got that from but I didn't want anything for my kindergartner, but my sister still got one, so I've got one extra. Either I use it or I keep it for one of my nephews or whoever that wants it in my family. I can give it to them. So I had purchased this because it follows along with the Bob readers. I don't have the Bob readers, but I know that they're, it's simple reading, so I just got her this one just to go through throughout the school year as well as the kinder so that one was the pre-k pre-k to kindergarten and then this one is kindergarten there is another one kindergarten to grade one which before she enters grade one i will go through and yeah so this is the second book so those are all the books for my kindergartner i'm pretty sure 
that I am just being very hopeful <laughs> and optimistic that she's going to do these workbooks. But if she does even one of these books and completes it, I'll be happy. So that's that. And then for my grade three or third grader, I've got this workbook that my sister bought for her from Costco and it is the Canadian curriculum for grade three and it's very straightforward it goes through um, I believe it goes through math things and then there is English and then there is social studies and science and that's it so she gets to work on that and then I've shown these books in my previous, one of my previous videos as well. These are all the Kumon workbooks for division, multiplication, and speed and accuracy. So I got these three books because she does go to a math class, which is to learn mental math. And she is learning multiplications right now, but she hasn't mastered it. She, um, she's not very fast at it, basically. So I got her this to help with uh, just consistency and speed. And then because she's in grade three, she's going to be doing the EQAO test this, this year, um, unless they, they make any changes and remove it altogether. But I wanted to have this on hand just in case. And it is the Ontario Provincial Testing Practice for grade three, and it has the English and math together in one book. They do sell this separately, but... I got a good deal off of uh, chapters the week before, so I decided to just get this one. And it just has the English in the beginning and then it follows through with math. And it does give the answer keys as well, so that should be interesting. So this is another book that she's going to have to work on every day just so that she can complete it before, before I believe, April of next year. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into the EQAO testing because I'm just waiting for the teachers to give us some information about it. But basically, these are all the books that I'll be using for this school year. If you have any questions at all, let me know. I will be sure to answer them. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.